what is going on guys welcome back to the channel critical overload here so this will be the spoiler free review for guardians of the galaxy volume 3 or guardians of the galaxy 3 if you want to call it just that now this is directed and written by james gunn it is revolving around our favorite band of misfits and their final outing together or at least what is being billed as anyway it's following peter quill who is still reeling from the loss of gamora who must rally his team around him to defend the universe along with protecting one of their own a mission that if not completed successfully could quite possibly lead to the end of the guardians as we know them we know this is starring chris pratt zoe Saldana, saldana uh dave batista karen gillen vin diesel bradley cooper etc this movie I will say, is a triumphant finish to the trilogy. Guardians of the Galaxy 3, it impressed me in more ways than one. Now, I know the MCU is in a state where people are fatigued and not wanting to see the current direction it's headed in. I, I myself am sometimes in that boat, but I continue to watch for those true standout moments like we have here with Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 3. I'd argue that this is genuinely one of the best entries to the MCU that we've had since No Way Home. It's emotionally charged. The resolution to character arcs are fantastic, but Rocket is the is the heart of this story perhaps it can be a bit tonally uneven at times i will say which never became too much of an issue for me still the humor that's present lands for the most part james gunn continues to demonstrate why he is one of the best when it comes to balancing those more dramatic moments with those light-hearted moments and there's some decent character work here for the most part overall narratively i did think the story was juggling too much at times but the third act really makes up for some of the more clunky story beats regardless of that those themes about self-discovery and family really pulled at my heartstrings more than ever during this film rocket is the only character i'm going to address in somewhat specific fashion so this is totally his movie uh, and I've never felt more connected to a CGI character from the MCU like I did with Rocket during this entire movie. The way James Gunn explores this character makes it hard to deny that he was the beating heart of this story. Sure, Drax, Groot, Peter, and the rest are crucial to the story as well, and they all get their opportunity to shine. But Rocket is going to be the real crowd pleaser here, thanks to the trauma that is peeled back and used to push the character forward during the film's runtime. Each and every member gets the most satisfying send-off I could have hoped for, which made me smile ear to ear. Now, I will say that the runtime did take a toll on me during certain moments. I don't want to say that the movie was horribly paced because I was never bored and I never felt that certain sequences went on for far too long. It was just more of that MCU fatigue getting to me. Uh, because every movie is over two hours long these days, some pushing three. <laughs> but if you find yourself feeling the runtime during like maybe the second act, trust that that third act is it's a breath of fresh air it's going to reel you back in you're going to be hooked you're going to be on the brink of tears probably not that i was it was just a very emotional movie the camera work in this film is able to deliver some of my favorite action sequences this year but more specifically a sequence during the film's third act that is sure to be talked about for years to come because it was just a visual feast to keep an eye out for this during your first viewing the sequence that i'm referencing that I believe we'll have folks talking about for years to come includes a song by the Beastie Boys playing in the background. It was absolutely phenomenal work and it's one continuous take. It's just all inspiring to see. Honestly, top to bottom, this film is a visual spectacle that took me back to the MCU of old, if you want to call it that. The set pieces are quite incredible and the effects are just magnificent overall, top to bottom. Dave Batista again, continues to demonstrate why he is one of the best actors or wrestlers turn actors to date chris pratt is decent enough and i'd say that because chris pratt is starting to actually become a bit bland to me but i don't think he's a horrendous actor or anything zoe saldana has some of the best line delivery in the film i would say and every other cast member was effective in their roles as well the chemistry between our core characters once again works to sell this idea that they are a real family of misfits and it makes those bittersweet moments that much more effective all in all this movie is a hit the soundtrack, though, that was on a whole nother level. I was just really digging all the songs we were hearing during this movie. If you were going to check out Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 3, if you have any doubts about going to check it out, just go see it. I realize that this review is rather short. I did, again, want to try to really condemn or withhold as many real specifics as I could from this narrative because I think that there are a lot of important things and a lot of important things that happen with these characters that are best kept a secret and of course respecting the fact that i again didn't want to go into spoilers 
A lot of this might come off a little vague, but trust me when I say this movie is a hit top to bottom. It has its hiccups. Again, it does have its clunky story moments, but I thought it was a rather stupendous, I would say, send off for these characters that we've been with since 2014. Now, on a scale of one to 10, I'm going to give it an eight. I'm going to give it an eight out of 10. I hope that when I go back and revisit it, I still feel the same way. But you guys can let me know what you think about this down in the comment section below. If you haven't already, of course, make sure you go ahead and subscribe. Turn on post notifications so that you never miss a video. In the description, I'll have links to my social media accounts. I'm on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. You can message me there, of course, to let me know if there are any movies, news, or reviews you'd like me to cover in the future. And with all that in mind, guys, I will see you in the next video.